Hello! Mabuhay! Magandang araw! Today, I will show you what I have eaten for brunch. Brunch because I'm practicing intermittent fasting. So, I am only eating from or between 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, today... I prepared coffee with milk. I use fresh milk and then I also put some sweetener. Yeah, so this is the fresh milk. I heat it first because I normally want my drink in the morning or around lunchtime hot so i also have toast uh low gi bread and i put cream cheese i spread cream cheese on it and then i also use blueberry jam Blueberry jam is, is with no added sugar, so it's only the natural sugar in the in these berries. Okay, so yeah, we have coffee with milk with sweetener and a toast with cream cheese and blueberry jam. I also have around one fourth chicken, one sausage, and two eggs bon appetit okay so before i eat i use my sugar meter to check my sugar level before eating I'm not promoting this product so you can use any other product it just so happened that this is the brand that I have currently but of course there's a lot of brand that you can cho choose in the market oh so you can see my reading is 8 so it's actually high it's because yesterday I did some experiment on uh, what they call eating low GI pancake, but I think I will talk about it in a separate blog because normally now my sugar reading is around seven or around six point eight. Anyway, so yeah, I will eat first, and after eating, I will wait for one hour. So oh, this is the food <laughs> after and then after one hour you see the reading is 7.4 actually it went down the reason why I read after one hour just to see whether blood sugar will peak in one hour or two hours because sometimes it can also peak after 30 minutes only so this one is after two hours. Ouch. No, actually it didn't really hurt <laughs> that much. It's okay. And Tara eight point one. So if you remember my reading before I eat was 8 and after 2 hours after eating is only 8.1 So as you can see these foods didn't increase my sugar So as a conclusion these types of food items are safe for me to eat But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to eat these types of foods every day you can actually substitute meat with uh, fish or vegetables like spinach eggplant 
malunggay, bitter gourd. You can also eat some fruits like guava and apple. Just to recap, my reading before eating was 8. After 1 hour, it went down to 7.4. After 2 hours, it went up a bit to 8.1. So it didn't really shoot past above 10. Yeah, that's all for now. I hope you've learned something from today's vlog. Oh, the reason why why I'm doing this is because I have diabetes. So I really have to watch my diet. So I was diagnosed in 2012. And um, after that, I took some medication and it went down. And then I stopped medication. Then I forgot about my diet and then last year i felt the symptoms again so i went to the doctor and have myself tested so actually when in december uh, 2019 when i went to the clinic uh, my glucose fasting was 16.1 you know the the range is only 3.6 to 6 so it's really way above the limit and my HbA1c was 13.9 so the ideal for this is actually 4.5 to 6.4 or the optimal is around 6.5 to 7 percent unacceptable for HbA1c is more than 8 percent so definitely this is unacceptable and I already feeling the symptoms like na ating yung katawan mo tapos natulog ka naman pero pagpasok mo sa opisina antok na antok ka tapos hindi ka makapokus uh, you, yeah, you feel sleepy even if you slept properly and then um, uh, what else yeah, because for me, I have migraine, so I think it, it can trigger migraine as well. And the obvious symptoms actually is your frequent urination, especially in the night time. Yeah, so those are the symptoms that you can feel. And then you know your sugar is already high. So what I did, I went to an, uh, to the clinic again because in December I was on vacation. So I just went to the clinic in first week of January to get some medicine. So the doctor gave me metformin for one month, two times a day. Uh, initially, um, for the first week, I didn't see any change my blood sugar because i bought a meter as you can see from the blood and test myself every now and then so i thought about it and then uh, i realized that i really didn't change my diet i think that's why that that's why it's not really effective so when i control my diet meaning i reduce my carbs intake sugar intake then after one month i went back to the doctor the what you, the yeah the glucose testing reading is already 122 and then the reference for this is 60 to 126 fasting glucose so meaning i'm already within the range so at the time it's okay but the problem is my HbA1c reading is still 10.9 still above 8 so the doctor actually told me to uh, okay he gave me an, another medicine for another two more months and then he asked me to have myself injected with insulin uh, at the time, I just said yes so that he can give me some prescrip a prescription or a recommendation because I had to do it in some polyclinic. But actually, I didn't 
really have myself injected with insulin because when I research about this HbA1c I found out that it's actually an average of a around three months sugar level in your body so since I only took the medicine for a month so definitely my HbA1c is still high so I just told myself to wait for a while maybe three or six months and I will have myself tested again after that and I will let you know I hope fingers crossed that my HbA1c will return to normal because now I'm actually doing intermittent fasting uh, so normally I just eat around 10 a.m. or 10 30 a.m. or 11 and stop eating around 6 6 30 or 7 actually it really worked um, aside from controlling your sugar uh, yeah of course your uh, your tummy will become smaller uh, your weight also will become ideal yeah so those are the benefits of intermittent fasting and maybe in my future blog I will still talk about some experiences or if I try other type of foods I will have myself check and I will share to you the results so that you can also try maybe it will of the food that I have that or I have presented I will be presenting in the future blog will also work for you so you don't really have to worry what to eat because yeah I think for most of the person with diabetes uh, with so many things that you cannot eat you you actually just wonder what else should I eat and sometimes uh, food that they recommended actually doesn't really appeal to you that much but if you just go to the supermarket or to the shop that focus on wellness or well-being there are actually a lot of alternatives that you can choose from I'm, I'm still learning actually because um, I it took a lot of time for me to really accept the fact that I'm diabetic it was the first time that you're diagnosed there's still the denial stage but sometimes you just really have to accept it so yeah aside from controlling my diet I actually now exercise regularly you, de you don't really have to do very uh, what they call high intensity exercises what I do is normally I just walk in the morning around 10,000 10, steps or I also jog but if I feel very tired I stop you don't really have to force yourself you know uh, yeah I, I do that in the morning and in the evening of course before before eating I, in the morning I exercise and in the evening I wait for some time after eating I wait for some time for the food to be digested before I go out and exercise because definitely you need time for your stomach to digest the food that you take before you do exercise so that uh, your body can focus on the right uh, process because definitely if you eat they need to process your food first but if you do like for example if you just eat and then um, after eating you you go out and exercise as soon as you eat then I think some of the food will not be digested properly so yeah that's all for now I really hope that you learned something from this blog and in the future whatever I can share I will still share and just bear with me I'm just new in this blogging thing because now it's a quarantine period right so nothing really much to do so 
it, I think it's better to share whatever I learn based on my own um, experience. I think it's the best uh, lesson that you can give because you experience it yourself. So, ano pa ba? Anyway, just stay safe. And yeah, again, please subscribe and comments for some suggestions, whatever. And have a nice day. Always be happy and healthy. Yeah, so this is the picture of the glucose conversion table for reference. And this was my result previously. And about one month after taking medication.